what's happening on college campuses. We've been following a lot of stories over the last several weeks, including the ongoing issues in the Ukraine and the uptick of anti-Semitism violence, both on the ground in Israel and around the world. Today, I want to concentrate on what's going on on Western University campuses. The university campuses of North America and Europe, well, they're supposed to be the bastions of liberal thought, espousing truth and justice and a search for truth and justice and the pursuit of the scientific method. However, university leaderships and student body groups are falling into a trap of wokeism and progressivism that's resurrecting the age-old hostility of hating Jews and spinning all your thoughts to that end. The University of Chicago has a student newspaper that posted an op-ed from a Jewish group opposing the anti-Zionism activism on campus. The newspaper's editorial staff then issued a formal apology for posting the op-ed and called its contents non-factual. So they reversed it and took it down. The Mensa organization, which is an international organization, uh, intellectual organization of folks with extremely high IQs, and they proposed engaging in a BDS boycott, that is, boycott, divest, and sanction Israeli thought leaders, universities, and educational programs. Thankfully, the New York University leadership is in opposition of this position and has openly said it. I actually find that to be some good news. The Ohio State University student government is uh, running votes on divesting from two companies in Israel. Students at Ohio State University are urging the student government to reject this effort. In England, the Jewish student groups are calling for a Liverpool, a Liverpool guild of students to scrap a vote supporting BDF. We have seen that the Prime Minister of England has already publicly announced several times that he believes anti-Semitism is running rampant in the universities of the United Kingdom. In Canada, in Vancouver, we see activism to divest both from Israel financially and their academic and educational programs. This is spurred on by the SJP-type groups on college campuses. The University of Connecticut, a young Jewish woman, wrote an article in a letter about her experience on the receiving end of anti-Semitism. Well, she was then expelled from her a cappella singing group, a group that she said contains her closest friends for all four years of her attendance. This particular student and her Muslim boyfriend were removing hateful flyers from the library after receiving permission from the administration to do so. Many of those flyers were even lying on the floor, and they were collecting them, not only for their messaging, but because they were litter on the floor. The result of her cleaning up these hateful flyers is that she was being bullied for her position. And the university and the city local law enforcement have said, after examining the video by cameras, that even though she was being bullied and harassed, both online and in person, and it's all recorded on video, that there was no crime. Princeton University's campus-wide vote for a BDS referendum is also taking over students' time and energy. The BDS notion is a false premise and preoccupying student groups across North America and Europe. Jewish communities and local Jewish student groups are trying hard to raise awareness of the injustices of these kind of votes. And sometimes, particular university leadership members will support that Jewish position. Georgetown is an example. For several years now, universities have been engaging in an annual spring event called Israeli Apartheid Week. And basically, it's a week-long event of hating Israel and spinning lies about what's been going on over there. The Students for Justice in Palestine, or SJP, is normally the group or affiliation of groups that garner up this hate and plan this week-long of events with university permission. Jewish students and Zionists who are non-Jewish who voice any kind of opposition or counter voice to these events are often met with hostility um, and even violence. At Duke University, it has been known for years that they support extremely anti-Semitic events on campus and sometimes in secret. They have even hosted or celebrated terrorists on the campus. The university is a beautiful place and a prestigious school known for an excellent education. And all the alumni should be outright raged by the current positions over the last few years in regards to how Duke takes on a one-sided position regarding the issues in the Middle East and do not offer any academically honest discussion of the topic. I bring you these bits of news with the request that you continue to pray for the educational systems in North America and Europe 
and not just the universities, but also the curriculums for grade school and high school. These notions, these anti-Semitic, anti-Zionic notions, Zionist notions, are sinking into the leadership and the school books. And I also ask you to pay attention to the educational systems within your own community and network. Be the voice of truth when these scholarly elites spew lies and attempt to stifle the voices of those who are seeking an honest examination and debate on the issues surrounding the communities of the Middle East and the anti-Semitism that is spilling out into the streets of the United States, Canada, and, uh, and Europe, particularly the college campuses. And the young people are the victims. The Jerusalem Connection is dedicated to addressing this issue in a very personal way. We currently have a Hebrew University scholarship program by which we will send an American University student to study in Israel for a full semester for full credit so that he or she can bring back the truth to their own campus here in America. This scholarship cannot happen with your help, so please consider contributing. And if you know a college student or you are a college student interested in studying abroad for one semester for full credit in the program of your major, please reach out to us. Find us on our website under the Projects tab, Hebrew University Scholarship, for information on how to contribute to the scholarship or how to apply for it. Shavua Tov, and have a great week.